Okay, hello, and welcome back to Simple Signals. Nothing has gone wrong, okay? This is, this is a world's first Simple Signals stream intro where nothing has gone wrong before the stream. This is, this is, this is a, a, a momentous occasion. Um, but, you know, anyways, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to Simple Signals. Today, doing the usual, Bitcoin, Sun, Ethereum. I, I might show a trade as well. I also might actually put in a trade, so I'm going to show a trade and put in a trade today. Um, hopefully, anyway, uh, if all things go well. Obviously, I, I've called the fact that there ha hasn't anything gone wrong right now. Could mean that something could go wrong later on the stream, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll move forward. Um, also, before I actually get into anything, uh, I do want to mention, I do have quite a lot of coins to, or, to already cover. Um, you know, normally I only have like three coins, Bitcoin, uh, Solana, and Ethereum. So it normally means I'll ask uh, four coins for anyone uh, like if you want coins covered, I'll do it for you, whatever. But last stream, there's an absolute like entourage of people asking for different coins. So I'm just going to go do these coins. So I'm probably not going to cover um, too many coins. I mean, it depends how I'm feeling throughout the stream, a bit tired around, I'm not going to lie. Um, so it depends how I feel throughout the stream uh, and how long it takes to cover all these coins. But um, I'm just going to be covering these coins for now. Obviously, you can put your coins down. I might write them down. But I might not cover them, it might be in the next stream. But uh, I've said both so many times. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. Check the descriptions from wherever you're watching. And, you know, there'll be very useful links there. Especially one which starts with T and ends in M. It's like a blue paper airplane. You know, you, you know, you know, just join there. Uh, and that's about it. I think that's about it. Uh, we've got how many coins do we have? Uh, we have nine coins already to cover. And I haven't, haven't even looked, I haven't even looked at chat. And I've already got nine coins to cover. So it's going to be a, a packed stream regardless of if anybody like zero people could comment on the stream uh and i'd still have coins to cover so we've got a lot to go through so i think we should just start it but first obviously i've got to look at coin market cap it's, you know the usual just see the percentages it, i mean you know it doesn't matter you know I, I can still take my time uh crazy percentages just clicked it there we go 13 percent for Ethereum. Let me, actually let me refresh the page to make sure it's actually live data okay good so uh, 12 percent it's it's going here and there uh, for Ethereum, pretty crazy. Uh, we'll have a look at that, obviously. Bitcoin, 7%, 7%. It had a huge dip um, because we hit, basically, I mean, as I said last stream, we hit uh, our all-time high. And then I said um, on the stream, I was like, okay, if we don't move down or move, if we don't react to hitting the all-time high, obviously, I'm not saying, I'm not. it's not like I'm saying something no one would have ever said. But if we don't, if we move, if we hit all-time high and we completely ignore it, we don't really i mean i said the best case scenario will hover for a bit but obviously what what should have happened and did happen is that we just hit it and came all the way back down i think the lowest we reached was like 58k which is ridiculous but obviously everyone was so excited everyone just like fell off the train because they're jumping with glee because we've hit all time high um but you know we're back up now we're we're, we're slowly building ourselves back up 67,000, obviously hovering between there now um so you know we're, we're at our point again um so if we can hold it you know, I mean, we are quite a bit above it, um, uh, or the previous lows, anyway. Uh, obviously, we'll get into the charts, you know, when I look at them. But we, you know, we're 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 steadily moving up, which is good. Um, Solana as well, 131. Yeah, that was a huge move. I think that was, I think the, I think it went as low as 98. dollars I think it was, which is crazy. Uh, and now we're back up to 131. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, the, the, that's gonna be the majority of what has happened is we we've moved down a crazy percentage out of all everything should realistically be green um the majority of it anyway because you know it was a crazy move downwards which just wasn't warranted in terms of any you know logical movement for majority of coins so yeah we, you know obviously i capitalize on that you know ruben who is also in the chat hello ruben ruben capitalized on that you know we did do a, a, a pipe trade i think we did a 10x we got about 85 percent profit which is pretty nice um so i might do another trade today uh really quiet tonight yeah it's absolutely it, I can hear the crickets joining the chat right now, They're hopping in, you know, rubbing their clickers together and making all that noise. Um, but again, like I said, it's okay because I've got so many coins to cover. Um, so yeah, again, I'm just gonna get started. There's no point. It's not like I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, trying to show off and, and talk to so many people because there's nobody here. But anyway, let's go on to Bitcoin. Just see what's going on since the last time we looked at it on Monday. So let's see what's going on. All right, this is not mine. Like, yeah. oh, so. You can't you can't put the word I'll say it. I'm too stupid. Okay, let's hide all this. Let's see what's going on. So what what have I drew? Oh, that was terrible. English. What did I draw? 
Wow, it's a, it's a rough night. There's like nobody here. Everyone's kind of probably celebrating the you know Bitcoin going back up. And I'm tired, so I'm staying from young. But I don't know why I drew this line. Wednesday. Where is this? Um, when was Monday? But well, yesterday. Wait, what? Why? Well, I, I don't know why I drew this. Oh, I think I drew this to say like you know worst case scenario we'll see ourselves hover. Well, that's not too far off. I mean, because basically this okay this line was basically um, this was the line of, of which I said um um like we would you know have the worst case scenario so like if we hovered for example which i said would be the best 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 case scenario which would be you know we, we kind of um obviously hit like all-time high area um we didn't actually quite i mean obviously it was a bit of an anticipation obviously like i said you normally want like a two percent mark um for the price area but obviously the best case scenario would be we hover above like you know this green area and we stay above which is why it's indicated we could hover um and I said by Wednesday, or roughly Wednesday, we should, you know, either be out of, either out of the, of the, you know, range or whatever we, we would be in, which obviously in this case was a huge move downwards. We would be out of it and we'd be moving up. So, you know, that was, you know, it was rough. It was only a couple of hours off. It was about, it's actually about two hours off, um, was the bottom of where our move came to. Uh, and then we started to come upwards uh, past this blue line. So it wasn't a bad guess, um, but obviously, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, I mean, I'm looking at, um, yeah, because I, I drew the fib levels uh, between the uh, high point of this flag, which, should we even pay attention? I mean, I think we can still pay attention to this. I mean, I think, because everyone still has it as a, as a high point. So I think, you know, self-filling prophecy and whatnot, if people, if everyone still thinks 74K is the top point, then it will stay there. Um, so it will, it will, it will be, you know, I'm trying to say. So I'm going to keep that there anyway. Probably going to remove this line though, because it's not a trend line anymore. Uh, probably move all this. I just don't want to. But interestingly enough, uh, I can't remember if I drew this. Yeah. Okay. So this was the 60k. Okay. So basically, this was the line we drew back on Wednesday. So when we were, we were actually live and this was happening. So this. Crap, there we go. So this was happening. As this this week right here, I said we. I said I said on stream. You can go back to it. I said we're going to bounce within this box and come back upwards. Uh, Lower hold. Obviously. Obviously. Well. Obviously. We, you know. We hovered, but. You know, we didn't go as low as this box, which is what I'm trying to say. And then, you know, I drew this box along because it is an area which we entered and used it as, you know, we had a buy area or whatever, and the price came up. Um, you know, we entered it roughly again, you know, obviously maybe a, a, a half percent, um, you know, kind of move less down. So, it, you know, it was still a strong move downwards, but, you know, we bounced off 58, uh, 59k basically, but it was roughly near the box, you know, roughly near the box. So I'm, gonna, I'm still going to credit myself to it. You know by like a tiny bit so anyway so looking at where we are now um what we can see so i'm gonna kind of pay attention to these fib levels because we kind of use them like roughly um so it seems like we are above um this fib level here uh it seems like we have the other support thing going on those support shenanigan uh as you can see you know if i zoom in uh yeah we, we kind of used it as support and it came up and then we came below uh, we well, our close and uh, instantly, so it wasn't like we we didn't bounce off the line. But we we were basically trying to close below it. Uh, actually, you know what? To be fair, it's probably like within here. There we go. So we closed below this line twice. Obviously, entering above, coming down, closed above it twice, entered above, came down, and then came and then obviously it'd be easier if we were on the thirty minute or the fifty minute. And then we kind of came up and then bounced off it um, like here. And then here as well, and now we've come above and we we'll use it as support. So this is looks like a support line. Um, so we've got some quite close close by support, which is good. Um, in terms of where we can move upwards to, uh, it just really looks like the top point of of this. Um, you know, if we can hold this as support and then continue to go upwards, um, probably seeing resistance at 68k, which is like a nice round number. So you know that could work. Um, did we see resistance before at 68k? Not really. We use it as support, kinda. You know, we kind of bounced, you know, we kind of kept above it twice, tried to test above it, came below. Um, so you could probably draw some sort of like a rectangle uh, as an area in which we kind of enter and came down. So we've kind of done this twice, you know, bounced, came up, came down again. So happened twice now. If it happens the third time, obviously it becomes a trend. Um, but eventually we should break out. I say all these things. I need to preface this every time. I say all these things. Oh my God, yeah, we've got this, you know, big resistance area. We're not going to be able to break it. You know, we might see some struggle. But you know, at the end of the day, we still have we're in a, we're still we we are in a bull market right now. 
now. So we're going to be breaking these eventually. These are more of a of a shorter term uh, type of thing. So it's not like this is going to be the end for, for Bitcoin. We're never going to see 74K. We're not going to see 420K um, by the end in 18 months. So, you know, it, you know what I mean? So uh, in terms of where we can go up to, uh, it seems like we all are also bouncing off this price point, which we kind of saw back here multiple times. As you can see, you know, kind of over here, we closed below it, kind of like, uh, you know, came below it or closed above it, came below it, tried to go back above it, but we didn't, and then came back down. Um, obviously, you know, quickly broke above it. So it's not too strong. However, we have bounced off it pretty much a couple of times now. So it looks like we're kind of in this, uh, how many percentages? About a 1% range. Um, but we've been in it for a bit now. Obviously, the, the, the wider range being about 2.7%. Uh, obviously, you know, kind of, you know, um, if I zoom in, uh, kind of like, you know, bouncing like this. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had like a move down. Um, but, you know, I don't know how long we'll stay in this range. Um, so basically, what, what it kind of is, is this midpoint is roughly like the... So if I draw... Hold on, I can, I can show you. If I do this uh, and do this... So the midpoint is actually where the fib level lies and it's near enough the mid level so the um this line here um is kind of being used as a midpoint so obviously you know when we're above the mid i don't i, I say this every time i look at this kind of like premium discount like understanding where if we're above the line you look for shorts uh, and situations where we might be coming down um you know we're, we're quite high up right now uh, as kind of you know said from um you know market cipher um, we're not we're not at the 60 line, so it's not like a concerning red um, you know red line. However, the last time we had this sort of situation, uh, we came down four uh, percent. So you know, pretty crazy. So we're kind of in that situation again. Momentum's coming down. VWAP is coming down. It's seemed like flatlined a bit, but probably might continue to come down and is negative. Uh, so you know, two bearish um, you know signs on the thing um, or on the mark cipher. And the money flow is coming down uh, with quite high green, so quite a lot, quite far for us to fall. So we, you know, Mark Cipher is telling us we're bullish, so let's keep that in mind. So the overall idea for Mark Cipher is, you know, okay, we should look for something, you know, like a short or something to bring us down. So I bring up simple significance to see um, what's going on. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, this is kind of roughly where my lines are, like this range we're in, roughly where my lines are sitting, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to, it's going to really, really make the graph ugly, so I'm going to hide it. What's Marcus Stafford A saying? So we've got our um, our EMA here. Um, so yeah, this makes sense. So by the time, if we, okay, if we were to come down, um, by the time we would start to come down, the EMA would probably meet our um, like kind of midpoint-ish area or based on the Fibonacci anyway. So we probably, so the, the premium discount understanding or where you have a midpoint where you have it support resistance when you're in a range. Uh, would kind of play out here, but it, again, it's no. I wouldn't really pay attention, to, like too much attention to that because it doesn't really matter. It's not anything too like particular, so uh, I don't care. So I'm going to hide this. Uh, I don't look at any of the other Microsoft A indicators. I really don't care. Um, what it seems like we're actually having a big moving upwards uh, in terms of this candle, actually taking us out of this um, red dot, which makes sense because it's not. We're not above the 60 mark. We're not crazy oversold or overbought. Sorry. Um, so it's kind of, you know, we've kind of got, we're kind of at the midpoint for the VWAP. So it could come up, it could come down. So we're kind of a 50-50 in terms of uh, if we're actually bullish or not on the really short term. Momentum isn't at the 60 mark and could go continue to go upwards because, you know, you see this type of situation where like over here, for example, we have a quick red dot, then a green dot. Like it doesn't like if we're not, like you, see, you have to wait for the momentum to kind of play out. Um, but you know, obviously you have to make your own judgments based on your know, price action and whatnot. But uh, so, we, you know, we're still coming up for the momentum. So it's still varying and obviously you know the VWAP kind of moves faster than the momentum and the momentum moves faster than the money flow so you know I wouldn't be surprised when we print out in, the, in 10 o'clock we could see our, men, our money flow kind of come upwards uh, and then we could see ourselves kind of maybe come towards 67.6 and then maybe come back down um, but I don't know I, I don't know how long we're gonna stay in this range. as I was saying the overall uh, range we're in I don't know how long we're gonna stay in this um, you know a lot of like chart no, I know it's not a chart pattern but like Whenever they show ranges and whatnot, it's normally for three. Like you normally bounce three times, um, and then like so we'll bounce like one more time. Uh, but again, you know we could there we could, could something crazy could happen, and we could just come out come upwards, print above this line, and we don't even use it in a range anymore. So um, you know, 
it's quite it's quite varying right now in terms of the information we're getting. Um, so in terms of to make of trying to make a judgment, um, let's see if I can find any trend lines. I mean, we've kind of I mean we've not really got much. We kind of hovered here. I mean to be fair, this is looking quite like some equally width candles, which could be our support point as well. Um, again, not quite there. Um, but you know that I think this is within our EMA area. So you know, if it was to come down, this would make sense uh, as like our order block uh, and whatnot. Um, I mean, in terms of going up, I think we're gonna. I think we might bounce off this line again. So I think we might come down a bit for Bitcoin. But in terms of the overall movement, I think we could continue to go upwards. Like I don't really think there's a lot like gonna stop us too much. Like I think I think the turning point will be meeting this um, block of like money here, which is nearing the 69 mark. Because obviously, you know, we're gonna we're gonna like, we're gonna have a two percent mark on um, this. Was like it's simply the my shows. Uh, yeah. So exactly. So the this top point, sixty nine thousand. Obviously, resistance point huge. Once we broke sixty nine thousand, once we hit sixty nine thousand. Obviously, the exact all time high was sixty nine two, but sixty nine is roughly where people say, oh yeah, this is the all time high. So it makes sense. We directly came to sixty nine thousand. We came all the way back down. Like it is pinpoint, and the two percent padding of that coincides with basically the top of this order block which you can see we entered here uh pretty you know tightly and entered here you know obviously coming up to 69,000, but pretty much entering here so i don't really think these lines are going to be too difficult for us to surpass um i think i definitely think that the difficulty is going to be in um like coming towards 69,000. i definitely think i definitely think we'll have one more at least one more movement downwards of 69 obviously not to the top not to the magnitude of what we had you know previously when we first entered it, um, or not first entered it, but you know, first actually hit 69,000, coming all the way down to 58. I don't think that it'll happen that that bad. It might, if we break, I think we'll have this uh, 67.6 as resistance. If we break above it, use it as support. So 68,000 being our support level. So probably staying, you know, within this box. Um, but I don't think we'll have another movement like like this, like this. Um, I don't even know how much percent it was. It was like. 14.6%. Like I don't think we'll have another move like that. Um, but I do think we are going to steadily go upwards. But in current movement right now, in the next couple of hours, I think we might come down a bit, maybe. Um, again, this is on the one hour, so this will happen you know, quite fast. Uh, I think we might have a, a slight move downwards, possibly. Uh, I don't think we're going to break this line just yet uh, because, you know, obviously this uh, resistance, resistance area is quite thick uh, and we've got this line here already, which I already drew. So, And we've, we've taken like, like one, two, three, four... Five, six. We've kind of we've already tested it like six or seven times, and we haven't been able to break it yet. So, you know, what's to say we'll have another eighth or seventh? So, could come down. Uh, midpoint being like one percent. So, obviously, it depends what 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 um, multiplication you did. If you did like a fifty x, whatever, obviously that'd be it'd be great. But it's it's kind of live action right now. It's within the candle. So, whether it happened or not is a different story. And it all just depends. If we start printing above this line, nearing you know the ten the the, the ten p.m. mark, you know things could change. Uh, we could actually maybe start to see ourselves um, be you know, within here instead, uh, trying to test the midpoint of this, the actual important point of this resistance point instead of it being the 2% area. Um, but yeah, as I see it, the current current movement within the hours, probably a move downwards. As we can see, we've already touched this point and we're kind of moving downwards already. Um, but in terms of the long term, I still think we can go upwards. So that's kind of it for Ethereum. Not big, oh, not Ethereum. I'm tired, okay? It's the same, happen same thing happened with the, the Kishan thing. Uh, I just saw his name and started saying it as a, as a, as a coin. Um, the Bitcoin thing. Um, okay, so, yeah, so basically, this kind of happened, right? It Again, like I said, when I was drawing this live, I did say, okay, I'm going to delete these. Um, or this line, anyway. <laughs> killing me. Or I did say when I drew this, this isn't going to be like a... No, let me go on the phone so it's a bit easier to see. There we go. This isn't going to be a a one to one movement of the price. It's kind of a general movement. So if I kind of, you know, if we leave it out as it was, we can kind of see. I'm going to draw another line here. We had this arc, which was like kind of this. You know, we came up like to here and then arced, and then we went back upwards again. Obviously coming down, which I didn't draw, so it's fine. So I'm right. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, and the blue line. Um, we did use it, uh, but what was good was um, this area or this uh, movement downwards was so artificial that it basically ignored the fact that this breaker block was then t would then be just like kind of um, invalidated. But you know it was so fast that we kind of came straight back up, 
used the midpoint again, kind of bounced, uh, obviously bounced off this resistance point we've already seen, came back into the break, this breaker block, and then absolutely surged back upwards. So it's like this area here was completely just like out of the realm of understanding. Um, so it was almost like we teleported from here. Oh, let me draw a bit. It's like, we, it's like we teleported from here to here, and it went, oh crap, what's happening? Oh, we've entered the breaker block, let's have a big move upwards. Um, so that's kind of what happened to Ethereum. So yeah, so what it looks like now, uh, similar thing with, with Bitcoin, we already see like this. Um, okay, so what's the, our current uh, situation looking like? Um, um, oh, this is the phone, that probably didn't help. Okay, yeah, there we go. It does not help. Okay, we do have this similar range as Bitcoin was kind of showing uh, with Ethereum, but if I, I, I like go, I like to stay on the hour, so I'm gonna stay on the hour. So it seems like we are above uh, a resistance point, which is good. Um, in terms of what the price is doing, it's flatlined. The view up flatlined like Bitcoin. Okay, so that's quite similar. Uh, money, fl uh, the, the money flow, uh, the momentum. It, it kind of in a similar situation, but it's not quite trying to. It's not. It's not trying to like arc into a negative movement. Um, however. Uh, it is you know it is nearing towards the overbought area. Um, money flow is looking slightly neutral with very very high. Uh, we have so much money coming in, so there should be a hopeful movement down uh, eventually. Obviously, this is you know, similar with how Bitcoin. I think we might move down a bit and hover a bit. But like I said, like I've been saying in the past couple of streams, you know we're in a bull we're in a bull situation right now, edging towards. Um, you know the, the halving very important number so people are, are on the, of the understanding okay we're in a bull market things are moving up with look for long so i don't like giving short um kind of signals because you know i don't want to be looking for shorts in a bull market you know what i'm trying to say so um yeah so that's kind of it so i might look at the minute actually because it's more in detail of what's going on um so in terms of of what we saw with bitcoin it's basically very similar in terms of uh i'm not gonna bring it up actually you know what no I can bring it up. Uh, what happened? Why is it not? Why does? Am I stupid or was the chart look nothing like it looked like? Um. All right, basically, okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm deleting that. Why does it look so different? Am I stupid? Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. I, I need to see this myself. Oh, okay, maybe it's because I didn't have anything drawn. But you know, in this sort of situation where obviously we've got a lot of lines, you know, distracting us. But if you can see line, boom, boom. So we're kind of in the same situation in terms of our movements um, of the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So uh, my assessment, hopefully, you know, would be the same. But obviously, we've got uh, different market ciphers to look at. Um, however, I mean, to be fair, the market ciphers are, are pretty similar. Um, so you know, if we look, our, our money flow is neutral. Uh, you know, VWAP is coming down. Uh, momentum isn't quite at the you know 60 mark but you know that is kind of like we, we, we need to we need to pick our you know pick our wins and we're on the phone minute to, to bear in mind so the VOP is going to matter more and more so you know we've got money flow and VOP kind of coming down being negative um you know we're not quite too overbought yet but we are at a resistance point um so what i could like, understand to see is you know we bounced off this resistance point when which let our which let our but we were already above um the 60 mark where we were quite overbought however what i could see happening is our price you know it's come up maybe hovering a bit at this resistance point where which would let our momentum kind of catch us to catch up to be overbought and then come down um but you know i'm just theorizing oh, no, that's a theory um but yeah i mean as i said with a bit it basically the same assessment with bitcoin you know within the hours it looks like it's telling me we should maybe have a bit of a move downwards staying in this range but in the long term we should just be coming up uh for we're nearing 40k uh, 40,000 4,000 um which will be huge to break because you know obviously going from 39 to 4 you know going from you know 5.9 to 6 going from I don't know 7 to 7.9 to 8 all these kind of movements, 700k 799k to 800 these are always going to be big hard um situations to be in to try and move uh our price uh let's try to get that accurate as possible there we go further uh to get our you know our price movement um and to kind of break above it's hard you know it's gonna be hard um i see some comments appearing on my screen however i can't scroll so i don't know what they said oh there we go um i'm usually in your channel still learning well welcome to the channel hopefully 
it's a bit easier um, to understand. Hopefully I don't go too fast. I've been told by some people I speak too fast, so if I do, just, just tell me. Um, but, you know, if you do have any questions, ask me, I'll answer it. Um, I live on YT, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to go to our, our, that channel, let me bring, go to Google, Crypto Warehouse, you'll see it in one link, you'll see it there. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I see for Ethereum. Uh, it's, if I look at the 30 minute, we have the same situation we do with, with Bitcoin. Uh, obviously, the market cipher is in a bit of a different situation. But as I've been saying every stream, I just said, when I was looking at the Bitcoin chart, we're in a bull market. Um, you know, the market cipher doesn't understand certain price movements because it just thinks we're in a normal situation uh, where we're just like crabbing or, or there's no kind of other manipulation or, or expectation for the price to be somewhere else. Uh, due to the fact that we're nearing the halving, everything kind of being hyped up. Um, you know, it doesn't understand that. It can't read that. It has. It doesn't have as much nuance as we do. Um, but you know, I do, I do still read it for like general. Because like, if everything starts to point downwards, it doesn't actually like you know, as much as I want to say, it still has a you know a, a meaning. It, everything kind of uh, means the same. Uh, okay, so it's on the phone minute. So we did just print again. Um, money uh, VWAP's still coming down. Money first kind of come up because it kind of coming, kind of coming upwards again. Um, probably meaning we're probably going to come up to the, the dotted bar for uh, the price again. But I think we're going to hover for a bit and then maybe come down. But I don't know. Uh, coming down being about 3.6% for Ethereum, which would be pretty uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent move down. Again, I don't want to be saying we should... Again, uh, everything... Is, well, not everything, but the majority of it is telling me we should kind of come down. Um, but... I don't want to be saying short situations in the kind of market we're in. So, you know, do bear that in mind. We're in a bull market. Things can just go up. Bitcoin starts to go up and we break up. Like I said earlier, if we break up, you know, above the line, start printing above and start having steps upwards and trying to, you know, reach the next resistance level, uh, Ethereum might follow the same kind of pattern. So it does matter where we print. So watching the watching the charts, um, you know, quite closely uh, and quite actively is a lot more important in a situation like this. When, when you know, we've, we've surged our price up so much and we're moving pretty erratically. We're not kind of in a consistent area. Um, you know, we do need to watch watch how the how how we print out um, a lot more than, than we would probably do. Uh, so going on to Sol, um, let's have a quick look at Solana. Okay, so how accurate have I been? Let's have a look. Um, okay, well, okay. When was this? Tuesday. So I covered Monday. So we were about here. Um, oh yeah, I was I was I was so happy because the fact that. Oh, actually, I've got the wrong. There we go. Okay. Uh, I was I was happy because um, the symbol significance was within the order block, uh, which is quite nice to see. Um, if we show the similar situation, <coughs> similar situation with Ethereum, where we teleported from here to here, and then bouncing within this order block, coming back upwards. We didn't invalidate it because it was a, a rapid rapid movement like that. So we weren't going to invalidate because it wasn't a natural movement for the for the price. Um, but yeah, what am I? Oh, I'm trying to read this. Uh, this didn't quite move how it's expected to. However, I will change it to green. Uh, you know what? I'm going to delete, I'm gonna delete that ages ago. I'm deleting it. Um, I'll keep some of these lines. Okay, cool. So order block. This seems pretty accurate. Um, obviously, this was when we were surging towards 69k. So. There's going to be a lot of movements which kind of, you know, kind of reach outside the bounds we were expecting because of, um, you know, the price and the fact that Bitcoin was going towards 69k and we we're you know, getting really hyped. Everything's going up. Oh, my God. Hit 69k. Absolutely crapped ourselves. And everyone's like, OK, what's going on? Then we all just came downwards. So this move up here and this move down here, these are all going to be these are all like very artificial. Obviously, you know, people were still, you know, trading with with this. So the price was still happening because people were trading um, and, they, you know, think, expecting the price to go down or whatever. But it was based on the fact that we reached 69k, not for the fact that there was like a, you know, something significant about anything else. Um, so I just want to bear that in mind. So basically going outside this order block and outside this order block w was basically completely ignored uh, because we just came right back in, you know, bounced kind of within the area and then came back up. So, yeah. So that was good. So where we are right now, we're kind of in the middle of the range. Similar again, similar situation. Entering the range, coming from here, bouncing off here, coming down here. But we're actually at the midpoint of coming upwards. Um, but what's good? Money flows coming upwards. VWAP is positive. 
and I mean, it's kind of arcing down a bit, but probably coming upwards. Um, and then you know, money uh, momentum is coming upwards. We're nowhere near the sixty marks. So we're not you know crazily like overbought or anything. So probably probably still some energy to move upwards um, for for Solana here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see. Um, but again, like I said, if Ethereum, if I think Ethereum might have a move downwards, and Bitcoin might have a hoverage and or move downwards. I would, you know, expect the same thing for here because it's roughly within the same market kind of situation. Um, you know, if Bitcoin's moving one way, obviously, I always say this: coins don't just have, um, uh, you know, they don't just follow Bitcoin one to one. Obviously, depends what coin you're looking at. You know, if you if you'd ask me about Pyfe, I'll show you the charts of Pyfe. Don't worry, I'll show you. Um, but you know, coins have, you know, they, they do have a, a ecosystem of their own, so they don't just move exactly like Bitcoin does or Ethereum does. So Solana could still move upwards, however everything is moving downwards. But look, we're having quite a big movement. Not, I, I don't want to like say, oh my god, Solana's going to crash, but you know, we're moving downwards currently, as everything else is suggesting we're going downwards. Um, money flow is looking like it's arcing and starting to come downwards as well. So, but it's nothing is really too high for me to suggest we should be coming downwards. Um, but we do seem like we have like a kind of a trend line going, uh, possibly. Um, never know. Maybe. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I'm seeing something. The voices are speaking to me. Oh, look at that. The voices have spoken to me. What have they said? Well, they've said we've got this situation. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay. Thursday, 7th of March. Wait, maybe actually on there. Yeah. Thursday, 7th of March at 9 a.m. Hoboosh. We're going to reach here. There you go. I'm the best. Uh, so I'm going to delete that and ignore that. Because, I mean, I, I mean, I comment on the one hour because I can actually talk about something. If I see a chart pattern like this, which happens over a couple of days, I'll just I'll just show this. Uh, no new coins so far. Uh, no, we're looking at the the top three ones I always look at. So no no new coins. But I do have new coins on the list. I have a, a ton, but I'm gonna go quite fast on them. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore my stuff. I can't be bothered to look at it. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna tell me uh, different things. So how much for salt? Well, if this kind of plays out, obviously, I'm kind of like squinting to see this right now. But you might kind of see it it depends if we if we bounce where i could you know trajectory see the price to go is bouncing off this line which kind of meets if we can see here it meets this um the support point if i make this a bit prettier this point over here it meets the support point so if we bounce off this point we could very well do or we could bounce off this midpoint um we would kind of have this um a bull pattern which would 66 percent of the time take us up Regarding the fact that everything is should be coming upwards, uh, like Bitcoin, we should maybe come upwards towards $140. Uh, however, or $141, or 142 actually, to be fair. Um, but saying that, if Bitcoin reaches 69k and falls down again, I wouldn't be surprised if we just come back down to our order block $123. Um, so if you were to take this, obviously, you know, there's always, you know, it's not 100% of the time it's going to work. Um, you could take a good trade, actually. Uh, you know, having faith in the the bear pennant. Mike said 144. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, 142, 144. Yeah, I see that. You, you could take you could you could take a, a following in this chart pattern. You'd get a 10.4 percent profit without any leverage. Um, you could probably because uh, two and upward ratio is what I kind of aim for. Obviously, you can you can make this tighter if you wanted to, but the the top of this order block is actually pr a pretty good stop loss, considering the fact this is a 2.75 risk to reward, which is pretty good. Um, so this could be a good trade for Solana. So what I could see, what I would, what I would probably do, put a buy order in at about $128 and then wait it out or buy it at the moment. I might put a buy order in, I don't know. I don't think about it, but this could be a good trade. Could be a good trade. So I'm looking at Dash now. We're going on to the coins, which people want to cover me or me to cover. I won't be surprised if the majority of the people who ask for coins aren't actually here because nobody's here. Um, um, okay, that's not very good. Um, okay, well, actually, it's not very bad. I'll try to get a rough trend line here, kind of here. Okay, so we've got okay, a bounce and a bounce, bounce, maybe following the trend line, maybe. I'm doing these quite fast. I'm not going to put too much like 
effort in because I, I don't. I, can, I should tell you right now, the guy who asked for this coin is probably not even here. Um, so I can kind of see like a move upwards. Uh, maybe seeing some difficulty um, around here, this midpoint. So maybe, uh, actually, to be fair, we do have this. Okay, there we go, perfect. We do have this to pay attention to, which we did break below. And we are now using it as resistance. Okay, so we do actually, we are actually at a resistance point, aka order block here. As you can see, equal, equal candles over here, using it as support. Uh, and then broke below it. Um, so it'd be a bearish breaker. We haven't tested, we haven't come into it. I've got it. Um, so I think it's, uh, I don't have a negative, do I? Okay, I do. So it's currently bearish order. So it's not like we haven't entered it and come shooting down. We, but what's difficult is we're, we're, we have a trend line and we have a support point. So we're very tight right now. And what do I say about situations where we're at like a resistance point and a trend line and EMA. We pressure cook ourselves when we shoot up or shoot down. So what could either happen from what I see is we either come up to our, our next resistance point or we come down to our, to our next, our, our previous support point. Um, hold on, let me like do this half. So you want like a good risk reward, which would be like two and a half, could be because that's support there. So you can have that there. Uh, in terms of um, probably having this at the top-ish area of the order block, you could probably do it here for two point five, which is roughly at the top to here. Um, so we're going to pressure cook ourselves. Okay, I can move this along. Good. Um, where did it? Yes, there we go. So. We're, we're and also our EMA is very close, so it could probably start arcing upwards and really just cook ourselves here. So we're either going to blast upwards or blast downwards. Um, it's about an eight point three five percent move downwards and a seven point four six move upwards. Um, so trying to predict where we could move if we break um, downwards could be the play because we were down here, saw difficulty staying up, and then we kind of stayed up, and now we're starting to come down again. Momentum starting to arc. Money flow is coming down. VOP is coming down. So I won't be surprised if we have a move downwards, uh, which would give you an eight point three five percent profit for dash. Obviously, putting your stop loss probably putting your stop loss above the order block, um, which would give you a two point five risk reward, uh, and you wouldn't screw yourself over really because if it's above the order block, you know it's it's over. Um, so I could probably see this as a, as a good trade. Um, it's going to be decent. Obviously, it's kind of 50-50, it's kind of but things are coming down, like I said. So we've kind of got bullish kind of things brewing for, for Dash. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to enter this trade, um, I'll screenshot it and put it in the um, the paper aeroplane place. Uh, because obviously, I don't want to read out all the numbers because if, if, you, if you don't hear a number or you don't know which number what means, it's going to get confusing. So I'll, I'll screenshot this and put it in the in the area, I think. Um, and then if you want to take it, you can. Obviously not financial advice. None of these trades are far, you know, none of these trades. Don't do these trades solely based on what I say. Always do your own research, do your own charts. Uh, make sure it's your own preconceived judgment and based on your knowledge. Um, I'm going to cover it. Is this, I'm not doing, I'm not going to bed. I can't be bothered. No, I'm not covering it. He's not even here. I guarantee he's not even here. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Can't bother. Um, Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, this is really good actually. All right, this is looking pretty positive for Pepe. All right, yeah, this is really good. Um, I think we move upwards. Uh, probably see difficulty here because it's a previous high. Um, so maybe seven percent move upwards. Uh, if I get along, it's where we are right now. Uh, probably putting stop loss. Uh, it'd have to be a pretty big... Okay, that's actually the bottom of there, so that's pretty good, actually. Put that there. Okay, so we've got a green dot near the midpoint, so we're not anywhere near being overbought. VUP is coming upwards pretty rapidly, and our money flow is quite low, but it's, it, it could arc upwards as we go. So it depends. It depends if this is a quick trick green dot or not. But obviously, again, if Bitcoin starts to fall down, we, could, we don't move upwards, we could actually fall down. So 
you know, take this trade at, you know, as your own kind of risk, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any consistent, like, area of, I don't know, anything. Like a really consistent, like, uh, width um, candle. I mean, kind of here, maybe, but you could also argue over here. Kind of same thing. Um, maybe here you kind of got like a order block going, maybe. It's kind of rough, though. Um, this order block is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. You know what? I think this is a pretty good, pretty good trade. I, I, I think I think I could see a long in, in Pepe. And we're at... Our trend line is at our EMA as well. So we've got a lot of support. I might take this trade. I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'll ask the audience. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good trade? 6.28. Do like a 10x. Boom. You know. Yeah, fancy. The pan is kind of crazy, isn't it? I'm not looking at it though. It's on bear line. I'm not bothering. I can't bother. Too tired today. I've had, had a long day. What do you guys think? I might, I might do that because I, mean, I, I kind of want to do a, a trade today. I, I kind of want to do a trade. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so let's quickly look at Doge. Um, okay. So negative momentum. Um, are they guys real? No, they're real. They're real. <laughs> they're real. They're real. They might look like bots. Maybe, I don't know. Um, Okay, so we've got a grey e EMA. So we've been below the EMA. It's quite... So we've got a bearish thing in the jiggy. Negative money flow and is coming down. The up is in negative. It's starting to come upwards. Um, and then money flow is looking like a start-up. So what I could see is it's the situation where we, we hover and then we come upwards. So this could be a support point um, for Doggy Dog over here. Um, but we also kind of have this fair value gap situation going on here which we entered the midpoint and then we're bouncing upwards so to be fair i, I think we could have an upwards movement for doge as well but we are below the ema so coming to the ema will be at two and a half percent so i don't think it'd be too high um but i think i think we'd have resistance up here um so if we do move up which i don't know if we would uh i think we might hover it here for a bit if we even if we did move up i think the max we'd see is about five and a half percent um, moving, I don't think we're going to move down. Uh, actually, I don't know. Nah, I think, I think we might hover. Like, we, we, I think we'll stay here at least. So I was ripping right now. It's not. It's not ripping. I mean, it's moved upwards. I still think we're going to have. I think, I think we need a, a, another move downwards, a bounce downwards. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't think we're going to. I could just be wrong in this trade, to be fair, but or in this um. In this chart drawing but um so yeah, that's basically doge so oh, i'm dramatic i'm trying i'm quite rapid about this 48 minutes or 49 minutes of this uh, stream a lot of um support resistances which is quite rough um momentum we're quite you know obviously going towards the overbought uh, area uh starting to arc a bit so maybe not as you know bullish as you'd hope uh money flows coming downwards and the up coming downwards so maybe a uh, uh, you know, we kind of had this situation again where, you know, we've kind of come upwards, you know, bouncing off support, coming upwards. We've already bounced off resistance, probably a, a move downwards towards our support point. Seems that we've got our view up and our money flow kind of coming downwards pretty, pretty, pretty nicely. If I could probably, if I could please do this, there we go. So, but 1.8, I mean, there's a lot of resistance support points. Um, there's a lot of, um, like, significant areas which some significant is telling us about so the movement isn't going to be too uh crazy i mean i don't know i don't know why this is drawn when we finish page i don't know why this is so drawn like this oh, yeah it's really rapid oh not rapid but it's a lot of i mean there's, there's just a lot uh I mean, we did use this as resistance and then support so you know i'm not disregarding this as a resistance point um but i mean i i, I could see it because big i said the same thing for bitcoin I said the same for same thing for ethereum i do think slides will come down as well um so you know yeah so but other things right if everything's starting to come down i don't know if pepper's actually gonna do it oh. we'll look at it quickly again oh, i'm already missing it 1.3 ratio. I'm gonna miss out. Oh man. 
Ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss out the whole thing. Oh, uh, well, I'll cover. Well, okay. What what CK beat now? Alright. There we go. Um. Alright. What's going on? Um. 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 um, um. Is there like this? Maybe it doesn't look like it. Um. No, that's not. There's no trend there. That's fine. Uh, okay. We might have. We might have one of these little little things going on. You know. Catch if you get what I'm trying to say. You know. Get what I'm trying to say. Coming down to the support point. Okay, so money flow coming downwards and negative money uh, momentum coming downwards. DWAP is doing whatever it wants to do, but we're kind of in this like bear flag, so which brings our arrow towards our support point. So I think a down downwards for Nervos uh, about seven point five. You know what? That could be pretty good as well. Uh, I should just I should just do like all the trades. Why not? Uh, I, I could try it. Why not? Um, I think the down move for 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 Nervos network. Um, uh, obviously, I don't know when it'll happen, but if we kind of have a squint in our eyes, we kind of see we've kind of had our bounce upwards and then kind of move downwards, and then we're kind of hovering at the middle now. So, kind of already had one bounce. Uh, it's admin's gone rogue. What are you, what are you on about? <laughs> what made you feel tired of the opportunity? I was up early, to be fair. I was up quite early doing stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I was up early. Um, it, it was quite hard. I mean, the, some of these threads are pretty good. I don't know. I, don't know. I, mean, I mean, you be a judge, to be fair. I mean, none of this is financial advice. Um, so, you know, do your own research. Whatever I, whatever I need to say to get myself out of trouble. Uh, I'm not in trouble, but if I did get in trouble, if, if you try to accuse me, um, if you try and accuse me of like, oh my God, you said this in Europe, it's not going up. Not my fault, okay. I'm just looking at the data. I lose, okay? Everyone loses. I, I know, I'm the greatest. However, I can still lose. Just like everyone. Um, so, 53 minutes in the stream. I've, I've absolutely smashed through all these coins. Uh, I think it's time we, we we look at our, our options and kind of see what the best one is for a trade. So, yeah. So, I think, so we've got a Pepe. So, we've got, okay, so we've got some contenders here. Um... Should we do a vote system? All right, okay, I've got an idea. Let's do a vote system. I'm gonna put a text list with one, two, three numbers on, and we'll look at, we're gonna find the three best trades, and you guys are gonna put it in the comments. All about six people here who've actually decided to join the stream, even though, like, nobody's on. I mean, apparently there's not nine people on this certain platform I can't name, so, you know, welcome to everybody. Um, but, you know, obviously on certain platforms, there's not a lot of people as, as it would be. Obviously, probably people are celebrating the, the price of Bitcoin's going off a tiny bit. Um, so I won't, won't, you know, won't blame them. Uh, so for the five people who are about to comment which trade I should take, the system is going to be... Um, we're going to have two... Okay, it's really big. Uh, hold on, let me make that a lot smaller. How do I do the text? text? Oh, whatever. All right, so I'll do it like here, okay? So we're gonna have the three coins. So we've got Pepe as number one. We're gonna have, uh, which ones did I look at today, which I thought were good? I think Dash was good, wasn't it? If I can trade it, that is. Yeah, this could be good. Um, I, I could do, I could maybe do, Okay, I might do, I might do dash. I'll put dash on the list. I don't, know, I don't really know what other ones there are. So I've got dash. I don't really like the which one? This one. I mean, it's all right, but it's like meh. it's going to take a while. It's probably not going to happen. And just, okay, uh, what else did we cover? Doge. I don't think Doge. Had, Doge had anything? Anything special? I don't think it did. Nah, nothing. Um, I know. This was a good deal. I was going to look at Pipe. The Bitcoin copier. Yeah, this was a good trade. Oh, yeah, it came. we came as high as this here. Yeah, pretty good. Look at that. That was just perfect. Uh, I thought we would come to midpoint because I didn't want to risk it. Um, so, yeah. Because, like, we bounced off our, our, our midpoint for the, the fair value gap. 
Well, to be fair, we did come down, but we didn't come. So we, we already bounced off it and then invalidated it, basically. Uh, but this was after like 3M, 4M, whatever. So, yeah. This is a decent trade, though. It's pretty good. Um, so what you want? You want Pyfe? Okay, I'll put Pyfe as a list. I don't know. I'll have to do some TA, though. I don't know. I don't know if we've got a good trade on Pyfe. I'll have to have a look. All right, so these are the lists of the coins I'll, I can do a trade on. So, put a number in for all the people... All the so many people listening right now. But number. So we've got a lot of threes from this same pretty much person. We no, you haven't won yet. Okay. The vote hasn't ended. And the vote ends when I when I say so. Actually, the vote could end when I actually log into the platform. And hide everything. It's not what you haven't won yet, okay? Hopefully that's not too loud on the, the microphone. I need to sign in quickly to um, the accounts on the place where I trade. Okay, so we've got two. So we've got three threes. I haven't looked at the other platforms. <laughs> All held. Up. Wait, you're going crazy. All held. The yeah, admin. We are in. We are able to trade. We are able to. Okay, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna do a quick. Okay, let's see. If okay, hopefully I won't get in trouble here. Okay, it doesn't show anything. Perfect. I do need to make this a lot smaller because you can't actually see. Uh oh, okay, now I'm good. Come on. Right. How I show me this? How do you show me? Oh, I don't matter, however. I want to be able to see the other end. Wait, can I move it? Come on. I can't move it. No way. Actually, you can see it down here when I trade. Okay, perfect. It's fine. This will work. You can see the trade at least. Show the closed position there. I ignore that one. That was quite bad. Um, it was a mistake, but it was pretty good profit. Okay, pretty good. But uh, anyway, yeah. So hopefully, you can see the majority of what you need to see in terms of you can actually see the trade. Um, so I'm gonna check the platforms now. Uh, which put into what I? Oh, that one. Oh, on the Jew. Um, I don't know. Try trade along if you want to trade along. Not financial advice. I do not advise you to. To um, this is not you know it's not advice. I don't think you should trade based on my things. If you want to, this that is your decision. Okay, I've got to preface this quite hard. Uh, which project am I picking on the dupe? Um, there were some good ones, but I can't remember them. All right, so um, yeah, I haven't looked. I, I haven't actually gotten it yet. To be fair, I've probably gotten it quickly. Uh, when when actually when is it again? I forgot. I haven't missed it. It's not a video, it's live. Well, you know, maybe maybe think I'm, a, I'm an AI, an AI video or something. So we've had an absolutely outstanding amount of, of votes uh, on this, which has been crazy. Uh, we've had about like four votes. So an absolute like, I don't know. I, I can't even count how many votes we've had. It's so, there's so many votes. <sighs> um, um so anyways yeah let's uh let's look for a trade so bad i don't i don't want i don't want to trade this one um okay well well to be fair i can make my judgment okay, i'll delete this because we don't need this anymore um Okay, we'll draw a square here. Can we use a support? That's good. Um, we've got this midpoint, which is six. So we should use that as support pretty easily. So six should be 
60 cents should be pretty easy support. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for a minute just to see. I'm going to go on Pyth though quickly. So I'll go on Pyth quickly. I'm going to wait till we print out to see what information um, we have. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to do Pyth because that's the only one. I don't get the super trend thing or this. I don't want any of this in my, in my way. I'll leave the 21 day in there. I like the 21 day in there. It's very good. Um, what we could do actually, we could have a little experiment here. Okay. We do midpoint. No, that's the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing as well. Why is everything wrong? Got the gold pocket. Oh, isn't that awesome? Um, this isn't going to help, is it? Actually, not bad. A little thing. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I'm stupid. Hold on. I should... It's a trend, isn't it? It's trend reversal. Stupid. Oh, I've put the wrong thing again. All right, there we go. If we go to the trend... Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now we should, it should, like, work and we should make all the money, everything. Um... Okay, we printed money got up we'll come down though could come up i think we could come up i could go i could you know what? i could go blind and i could just sit here with no take profit and just watch until i make enough money i'm happy with maybe i don't know okay let's wait for this to, to it, it might come above this orange line because i mean it's telling us money flows going up so it's telling us we're coming upwards obviously the ops coming downwards so we might have downwards movement i don't know try to uh, we need we need to see we need to wait for it to actually probably print That's a printed. No, not reset. No, no, no. Oh. I don't want to do that. No, why? I didn't mind. Okay, there we go. Um, as it moves, I'm going to have to refresh. Oh, sick. Oh, so I can't things just work. Oh, there we go. So, so what are we doing? We're actually doing anything. Okay, awesome, we haven't done this thing. That's great. So perfect. Love that so much. So clearly, when the clock struck 10, the entirety of, of Pyth, um, it just completely crashed apparently. Because of my, it's probably because it knew I was about to trade. My sheer excellence just caused caused the Pyth just to completely break. Like, the price isn't updating, nothing's updating. Like, it's all gone wrong, clearly. Like, it's clear that every, I, I've caused this. Because there's so many people watching try to trade. It's just frozen everything i don't know if i can even trade it it's not moving it's not moving here the the, the flag price is moving or the mark price sorry okay we moved there we go finally okay so let's see what's going on so we come down we can come down to our ema maybe i don't know how much how much that would be seven seven percent like a like a 20x that'd be that'd be enough that actually warrant something 14%, that's not bad. Let me back on music, give me some blues. I actually don't know what he's on in the background. It's really <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Okay, I wanna find I think we're coming down. I mean our VOP is coming down. I mean if we're training fast like this, then it makes sense because our VOP is coming down. And it is and it will probably come to the zero line. So we probably might come to our EMA. However, coming to the EMA means about a 0.6% move, and I, I can't be. But we're basically not the EMA, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's we're coming down. Okay, you know what? I'm. 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 I'm no. I'm on. Screw you. All right, what are we gonna do? I think we come down on this, but let's see. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, okay, we've got red dot. Money flow come down. Okay, everything's kind of come down, but. It's not going to move too crazy. So, I don't know. I can't really... Has, it hasn't really been... Okay, Pepe. The one I wanted to do from the start. What's it doing right now? It's hovering. Oh, whoa, that's a sharp move downwards. Yeah, it was one of them little cheeky little green dot things. Um, actually, to be fair, let me move this down to support. There we go. But we do have support right below us. Unless we don't, 
and it's actually like not support and i've actually lied been like lied to myself um actually what's probably a better thing to do seeing as though everything all the coins i've just looked at pretty much go like pipe pepe kind of all kind of go for what's going on what's going on with bitcoin bitcoin's coming down red dot green money for come down we, we we did come down since since i i said we would like one percent it's pretty pretty decent um could do like a 50x bitcoin trade problems we've, we've, it's telling us we're, we're gonna come down we've already moved down um and if, even if i go on the lower time frame i'm not gonna make it like hardly any profit on it hasn't really been a good trade so far I think, okay what's Solana doing i could go for the solana trade because we're not gonna we're, i don't think we're gonna do a trade and um and be in profit and, and get out of it within the stream uh so we're outside of this so it's not actually stayed within it okay perfect everything is, is spent so great obviously well, i did say this was like a squint thing as i as i was drawing it, i said like, you know we have to squint to see this hope we, it might work it might not um but yeah well, i mean we'll see i guess obviously we, we have like wick we, you know because like over here for example we had wick we had a wick out and then we came right back in so could be one of the situations where we like wick and then come back in um it's not really been anything good trade like it's, it's, all, it's all been pretty naff okay what like what's perfect like all been really really trash what's this doing okay, it's come back to here again it's just not moving only flows to crossing we were just looking down there we were just sitting here everything's naff like like dash for example is at a support like it's at this point like it's hard to tell what's going on uh, it's bouncing off this 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 point we've got all the block here and we've got this resistance we've got all these things these things but even within this area it's only got one percent it's like whatever um we've got what else we've got uh what's ethereum doing actually yeah we've got ethereum like what's that doing what did i said it would do i said it would come down let's come down a bit i think yeah i was on the phone it wasn't i said it would come down from its top point which is here uh, so yeah, we've come down about a percent, nearly. We've also got the red dot. We've got the same situation right here. Uh, how much percent would that be to the EMA? Seven percent again. It's just nothing. Like, I want to get a good trade. Like when I when I took that pipe trade, it was like I looked at it. I was like, okay, we're at the lowest point right now. Should be pretty good. I mean, to be fair, I don't know. I mean, we've got because like we've got EMA. So it's like because we bounced, but then we bounced off the EMA, obviously. So it might be another situation where we bounce to the EMA. So even if I wanted to short right now, I don't know if we would come down to support. So we, I don't know if I'd make any like as much money. It'd only be set like 0.7% profit, which is like nothing. Um, so does anyone have any other coins I could look at? Like a one coin, like something, something which moves pretty cool, and I could maybe get a, a trade. Like, I want, I want to do it at least one trade before we end the stream. But all these, all these are really just boring. Put the CKB. Yeah. Fetch it. Okay, I'll, I'll look at Fetch. Said it would come down. Yeah, so we're in We're in this. Boom, 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 boom. Um, At the VWAP. Let me go to the EMA. But this is, I mean, it's kind of coming up. It's not really, again, it's not doing anything. Okay, what's Fetch doing? What's Fetch doing? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of movement upwards. You know what? It's actually a good trade, to be fair. That's actually pretty good. Um, actually, is it good? I'm not sure. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, however, we have we have these two here. Actually, I've got one now. Like this is kind of like suggesting to me that it's not that good. Not not not, not it's not that good, but it's like you know. It's when we might see ourselves move down a bit. Um, wait a minute. I've got a 15 minute. If I want to do a quick trade, I want, I want to do something fast. So yeah, like I said, like we've got um, kind of this area which we're coming towards. We kind of bounced off it. Um, green dot quite heavily up as well. It's all very hard. It's all but no, not not as a good trade. No, you bought it. I'm talking about a future trade. And again, it's like again, there's been so many 50-50s. It's like we either we're in, we're either in like a range like this. It's like, okay, we're either gonna come down or come up. This is like, well, there's this resistance point because of this. 
Uh, but it's like we've got this green dot, we've got Viop coming really heavy up, we've got all this moving upwards. It's like I can't find something. Can't find a thing. What's this doing? Yeah, it's coming down. I mean, to be fair, Python literally just walked. What, like what, what I normally, what I sometimes do is I'll draw a chart on Bitcoin, see what Bitcoin's gonna do, and trade it on Python to get a higher percentage. It's pretty much what I do. It's like like look at this candle. Like it's the same, it's pretty much like the same looking. Obviously, I know it's different um, ratios or percentage. Myra. I have a look at Myra. I just want to look at a, a different coin, but I can't figure out any like just random ones. I don't want to go on a random one. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, similar situation with um, like like momentum and, and view up and stuff. Uh, it's similar with fetch, actually. Okay, this was pretty. What was that red line? Have I already drawn this? Oh, I've already have I already done TA on this? Seems like it. Uh don't remember drawing that. So this looked pretty good as like an area. Then obviously when everything came down, obviously we just dipped below. Then we used it again. So this I'm gonna keep that there. Um I don't know, I mean I'm looking, I mean this looks like it might keep us down. So obviously, because see, we've hit the midpoint of this line so many times. Um, so it's like, oh, let me make it smaller. There we go. Because that's kind of where it is uh, here. It's just like we, we kind of hit this midpoint, like you know, like one, two, three, nearly coming down below it, bouncing off the bottom point, like one, two, three, four. Like we, we've kind of been bouncing off this all, all block. Um, are you staying up? Or you just, I'll probably stay up, but like. I'm I'm kind of like hibernating right now. I just want to find a coin. I just want to find a coin. I just want to do a trade. But all this, I just I need to be 100 percent sure. I know exactly. I need to know exactly what's happening. I need to know it's gonna go up. I need to know how much. I need to know it's a good movement. So I need to know. But it looks good. But it looks like we could have issues there. But these are like pretty pretty you know boom you know what i'm trying to say um i might mention yeah i'm on Mara now it just depends if we if we if we stay at this if we stay below this all about because like it's it's really just rough i mean there's kind of okay there's not anything there um game was hovering i just want to be sure because like that pipe trade i was really sure like the, the trade i take i'm sure like sometimes it could like something ridiculous can happen i can just get like screwed over but the majority of time, I want to be completely sure that I'm trading. And the majority, I'm like, I win the majority of my trades. Obviously, you're not going to win every single trade. Um, but I normally win most of my trades. I normally win big on most of my trades. Like, if I go to like, close positions, like, I win pretty, like, I win more often than not. Um, so it's like, you know, let's scroll down. There we go. Obviously, I mean, obviously, the, you might, I scroll quite fast past it, but that was when the ETS came out and everything was going crazy. Um, so it's like I win more trades than I lose, than I lose, and it's because I'm so sure of what I'm doing. Obviously, this was this one was a fluke, and like I said, you're never going to win every single trade. If you're trading on lower cap coins, things can just happen, like things can happen like that, and like you're never going to be 100 percent right, which is fine. Uh, but I want to. Like, the reason why I win quite often is because I'm always pretty sure. I have a you know it needs to be structured to it, and if, you, if it doesn't fit my exact structure, I don't want to do it. Um, so I'm trying. I don't want to force a trade just because I'm on the stream. So you know, I'm kind of just waiting. Like we we're just like having difficulty. I do want to find some of them. Right, if we don't find some of them in like the next ten minutes, then... I don't want to just sit here looking for ten minutes. Okay, what's Bitcoin doing? I can almost guarantee it's like an equal candle. Okay, well, it's not that bad. Uh, what's this doing then? Again, like this is the problem. Like we're we 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 it's telling us, okay, we're gonna come down. We're coming down. Literally, every single thing is pointing downwards. But we're at a support point. So what we're we gonna do? I don't know. Like, like we're not gonna break down. Let's do break down. But when we break when we break down, we printed below. Unless we had a big. We could have a move down. I mean, to, like if we kind of look at structure. There's no structure. I'm trying to find structure from nothing. It's, it's horrible. 
Um, I'm not adamant we're short. I don't want to short. I, I'm not adamant on anything. Like, we're very negative and we're kind of like wicking down a bit or we're kind of like testing the waters below. It looks like we're moving pretty, pretty nicely. If we move down, I mean, it might be. I mean, this is, again, it's Bitcoin. I don't want to trade Bitcoin because it literally gives nothing. That's why I want to trade Pyth. So I got Pyth will probably have a big move down. Eventually. If it updates ever. That's all hit. That's all hit again. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Uh, what should I do? CKB? Yeah, that, that's gonna take a while. What's Solana doing? Is actually is the Solana completely broken the area? Has it gone back in yet? Okay, it's, it's trying to come back in, which is good. Yeah, it's, it's probably just one of those quick wicks up. Happy short. Let me have a look. I mean, to be fair, Bitcoin's kind of coming down. I mean, yeah, we could meet the middle of here. Um, yeah, it was one of them tricky ones. So I could be good, actually, yeah. I think we'll probably stay above this. Like, we'll stay to the midpoint of this order block. Um, but... But unfortunately, like like I said, like if Bitcoin's coming down, all these things are starting to come down, um, like you know, it's gonna come down because like you know, lower these lower coins. Obviously, certain coins have more of an influence, are easier, are more influence than others. So, for example, like like I know Pyth, like when when I when I've looked at it in the past, and I've said this multiple times on streams, um, like it does follow Bitcoin's trajectories pretty pretty well. So that's why I like trading Pyth. Um, Obviously, again, like I said, it's, it's a coin of its own. It can move um, different, indifferently. But, you know, Bitcoin's come down straight, you know, all the way. Uh, and then Pepe starts to come down. But obviously, we, we had to wait for this, for the new candle to print, obviously. And obviously, we started to move downwards. So if we didn't start to move downwards, we would have probably come up with Pepe. But, you know, it looked like a good, it looked, it looked a good long, but we'll have to see. Um, so, uh, okay, we actually, we have, we're at our resistance point. We're overbought. This is going to be, you know what, this is actually pre look pretty good. We are overbought, and we've reached like the the pinnacle point now, which is good. Um, it does depend if we actually see uh, um, like it kind of arc around. Uh, Vops coming down. Money flow is kind of trying to come up, but it's not really doing much. Um, in terms of where we can see, let me just draw this box. See what the midpoint is of it. Okay, the midpoint looks like an actually consistent point, uh, which looks pretty good. Uh, in terms of where we could go to, I don't think we go down there. Well, I don't want to short though because it looks like a, it looks like it could have a nice move down, but I don't like. We've been at this resistance point quite, quite a bit. And we haven't been able to get anywhere near going up it, so it's quite a strong resistance point. So, I'd want to say it would be short, but I don't want to be shorting right now. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, is I an AI coin? I think so. I am, I suppose. Um, it should have a big thing in it. It should have a little blur. I swear it has a blurb somewhere. I could probably do this, but it's going to take me away. I think it's an aircon, though. I don't know. I think, I don't know if we covered it. I think we probably covered it, but I've forgotten. Um, okay, I want to make a trade, man. Okay, we are we are nearing the 20 minute mark within the hour and 20 minutes. Um, so, what I might do. Check Bitcoin one time. Oh, we're coming below. Okay, we, we did bounce off the, the fib level. Um, but you know we're coming back up now again. So it depends if we because like we for it to actually matter. Okay, it's like okay, we, every single part of Microsoft is telling us we should come down for Bitcoin. We have you know started to come below this this point here, but um, we need kind of print below for it to actually be you know confident in that. Uh, again, even like I said, like it would be a move down of like nothing. So that's why I, I kind of wanted, I, I want it to translate on other coins so I can trade a different coin and short it. Okay, now that Pi's actually updated, because I thought we could have a little cheeky little move up, but I don't know anymore. Because if we have, if we actually start moving down like for Bitcoin, um, very nice super, you're right. What was I right on? I think I'm wrong. I think I was wrong on Pepe. 
because we started to go down on Bitcoin and it wasn't very good. Uh, now we just bounced off the order block. I'm glad I didn't enter that. <laughs> glad I waited for it to actually print. Token, uh, I was just on Pyth. Pyth's always been good to me. Oh, Whiff's been good to me as well. So Whiff thing. Maybe we might find a, a, a magical. Okay. All right, here we go. This is looking good. Really negative money flow, negative uh, momentum, negative view up. Could for, look for a little short. I don't want to short though. That's the thing. I don't want to be shorting, but it might be that I have to short. So it might come to the bottom of here, which would be a, how much move? Uh, nearly a 30%. I don't want to do it exact. I want to do a bit of a pattern in case we don't hit it. So if it was like a, a padding of this, probably get 25% profit. That could be decent. Oh, token, right, okay. This could be decent, but I don't, it's kind of already happening. I don't want to like lose out on it. I'll look at token quickly. I need my mind up soon. I'm just sitting here. Oh, I could do this. I could do this. Okay. Okay, this is pretty good. This, okay. Oh, actually. We have the EMA. We're literally stuck below this EMA, but everything's pointing upwards. Um, should see a move up. I, I think it's the right quarter coin, right? I hope so. Uh, um, actually, is this on the platform which I used to check? No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't see that right. I didn't land. No Crap, it's not on there. I don't know. I'm liking. I'm just gonna have to trade it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put a trade. In. If I lose, I lose. Terrible, terrible mindset, but I, I think it's going to come down. Because these are like what Bitcoin's doing, what this chart says, and it's actually got a percentage to it. But, I but like we've been coming down for so much. I don't want to like, oh, I'm going to short as we're coming down. It's a stupid idea. Um, but I don't know. I, I, just want, I just want to catch a movement. Okay, we are coming down. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's are pretty... So I'm actually, yeah, I'm not on... Um, Ten minute counter. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm gonna end it soon. I'm gonna try and end it soon. Um, yeah, we are coming after Bitcoin. Am I short? Um, oh man, everything in my gut is like, don't bother. Don't even short. It's gonna like, everything's gonna go wrong. Um, the things are coming down, but we're staying above because we've literally got this really close order block keeping us up. Um, I'm gonna find some. I, I'm adamant. I, I hate it because I'm just sitting and looking at the chat and then going, oh, 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 and I'm not actually doing anything. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes just going, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I just want to do it because you're all watching and you're like, oh, what's this guy doing? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know if I could trade this. I'm even, you know what? Let me just find a coin, a different coin. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just going to scroll until I find, I'm just going to go through some coins which I have access to until I find one which has a good movement, like, it, like, you know, has a movement in terms of, um, like, I can actually, like, catch, uh, hmm. what's the idea experiment, let's see. Uh, it's supposed to go up, but then it's not good. Like, how's this? How's this supposed to make me feel? We're at resistance point, but everything is trying to tell us we're supposed to go up. It's it's, play, it's like it's playing with me. It's fine though. I'm gonna speed run this until I find something good. Um. Okay, what's going doing? I'm gonna find one which has a movement. Okay, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of good, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, VO's coming down. We're very overbought, and we've got a neutral money flow. I don't like that. I'm not doing it. Uh, what's... I'm not doing this one either. Screw that. Uh... 
Um, okay, what magic? We've got the magic in this. Yeah, best trade is something like no Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. I, I, because I, 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 when I trade, I, I, I want to be as structured as possible. Like I follow. Like I go. Okay, this is up. Good. This is bullish. Uh, this is up. Okay, this is bullish. Okay, this is down. This is back. I, I, I need. I have a checklist. And if there's an overwhelming amount of checklists on one end, I'll take the trade. And it, the thing is, like, it, most of these, most of these of, of the charts I'm looking at, we've already moved. We're already in a movement. Like we're seventy five percent or eighty percent of the way through a movement. I'm not going to catch twenty percent of the movement. Because it could be nothing, and the majority of them are nothing. And Bitcoin is doing its thing, and we're, we're trying to. We're in a range, so as we go up, things go up. As we go down, things go. Up. We're not in a. We're not in a. You know, we're kind of. We're kind of hovering. So nothing's really giving me a good trade. So it's just. It's just difficult. And see, I can have a look at that. Um, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I, sometimes I just don't trade, but I want to. I exactly. I need confidence. Exactly. I want to find. I want to find a coin, which hasn't moved. Because like some of these, right? Like, uh, as I was just saying with, um, I can't remember which coin it was, but Marcus was telling me it's going to all go up. And then, you know, we were above the EMA. Everything was kind of bullish, but then we we're at a resistance point. So it's like, what, what do I do there? So it's just like, I'm not going to do anything. It's just no point. Um, but I'm just going to quickly rattle through some of these. And eventually I'm going to give up. What an awful chart. This is NAF as well. Actually, how much would it be? No point. Oh, no. Okay, we'll clean the wrong button, man. Um, you know what? I did actually do a good blur. blur. See what blur's in. I haven't blurred some burn ages. Again, money flow come up, VOT come up, momentum, everything's come up. Yeah, we're, we're basically at resistance points. Like, and how much would we move up? Oh, please, I swear to God. I just accidentally minimized Mark Cypher. Where's it gone? I thought, okay, there we go. Oh, it's nothing again. Like 1%. Obviously, I can do a big X, but then I'll have a, a low down thing. Um, what's it called? Oh, yeah, let's see. has been requested five minute calendar yeah I'm, I'm gonna i'm probably just gonna end up ending it soon um okay i mean i'm looking at um okay so like the vwap is like kind of coming upwards which is good which is it the reason it's good is that we're quite close to arcing out on our momentum we're not we're not near the oversold point yet so um you know move down is always possible however Looking like we kind of have an equal thing here, um, candles, and what, and we can kind of see we're kind of at uh, the midpoint of this and bouncing off it pretty consistently. So we're basically at a really low point right now for for um, this coin. M money flow is pretty terrible actually. Um, so, but we hopefully should hold this. I mean, things shouldn't, nothing's going to crash, which is going to make this come all the way below this. So we should basically hold here. Um, and then as things start to get better, kind of move upwards. So I think we're at a, a low point for, for Terra Classic, but again, I mean, Terra Classic, meh, meh. Um, in terms of move upwards though, where's everything? I've got, okay, yeah, that's okay. That's, ignore that handle. Let's go to 30 minutes so it, does, it doesn't show that. That's stupid. Hopefully we'll show, it'll show like a lower down. Okay, there we go. We've actually got decent areas. Yeah, so we are, yeah, it, it, look at that. It's just perfect. The, the midpoint is basically this, this midpoint. So we do have a support point. So could have, um, you know, an arc upwards. Um, you know, money flows coming upwards. This is what we can't oversold. Could see a move upwards. We've been going down for quite a while. I mean, this is much, like er, pretty much everything else. I don't think I'm going to do a trade. I don't think I'm going to trade. I, I, things are just not good right now. So I'm probably going to leave it. Um, I, I just can't find a trade. Which I want to actually take, which I have confidence in. Because like, it's like, I don't want to just do a trade. It's like, okay, yeah, uh, I'll do a trade. Um, 
and then like just just for the stream i'd because it's still money which i don't want to lose um so yeah i'll probably leave it because i can't find anything uh so but it's been a good stream obviously i absolutely left this stream on so long trying to find a coin i couldn't find anything uh because we're currently in the swap of a because like we're, we're kind of going upwards for bitcoin and then the next candle print and then we start going downwards so all my kind of all the bets started moving downwards again so at this point like when you know when things follow bitcoin like lower uh lower coins when bitcoin's kind of like doing this constantly uh i should draw it. i don't know why i'm doing my finger and when bitcoin's doing this like things can go like this and like just like really just rapidly move uh because you know again they move percentages based on themselves however they can move based on the action of of you know bitcoin which you know it, it could you know if that it could sound you know you know strange to you which is fine because i have had experience of looking comparing bitcoin to pi for example and they have been very accurate so but you know it just does, does depend on um the direction of bitcoin sometimes um especially if you want to make a good percentage you need a lower cap coin um which is gonna have more influence uh so yeah but i don't know i i, I saw a, a short for, for for dog with hat but again like we've already had the movement since here it's like it's already moved down like 15%. It's like I, I've already missed the majority of the movement. Like the rest of the movement is going to be 1.7%. One, 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 1. Like it's literally no point in it doing it. So I'm going to leave it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we're, we're just, again, I, I, I'm interested in this to be fair. I am quite interested because we're, we're getting quite close to like support point EMA. Like it could kind of like make us shoot up or shoot down for dash. So I'm interested to see what, what, what's going to happen here. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for the stream. Sorry I couldn't find out the trade. It is what it is. Next 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 stream, hopefully. Uh we, we, we catch we catch a, a, a movement uh when we actually start the stream. So hopefully we can find something good which we can ride out. Um because I'm not scalping. I'm not gonna scalp. I'm not yeah, time's done. I'm not I'm not gonna scalp. I wanna find a good movement, a good a good played out trend. I'm not gonna join a trend ninety percent of the way through. I'm not gonna waste my waste time. You know, you've got fees. I'd rather get a good movement with good percentage. So no trade. Hopefully Monday we'll, we'll find a good trade. So thank you so much for watching uh, through all of this crap. Obviously, I know the stream basically ended about 30 minutes ago. Um, but, you know, I tried my best. I tried to find the coin. I couldn't find it. Couldn't find a good one. I didn't. It didn't fit my code. So thank you anyway so much. Exactly. This is why the Yaku always makes the right trade. Exactly. I'm not going to make a trade just because I need to make a trade for the stream. I, I, I refuse to lose money on a stupid trade. Uh, it needs to be perfect in my books. It needs to be perfect in my books. So thank you so much for watching. Um, obviously, you know, I, I drew the charts and then, you know, Bitcoin started moving differently and then things started moving down. But I'm interested in some of these in some of these bets. Uh, obviously, I've kind of cheated here because I've said it's going to come up or down. Um, but it does just, just depend on when it starts to, like, get close. It's so, like, basically, when it starts to... Oh, crap. When it starts to, like, get here, when it gets really close to being, like, thing it gets really close it's you know um it, it get it get it's gonna really either shoot up or shoot down but i think i have more bias towards shooting down um but again what, what bitcoin does is gonna kind of influence other things so it depends if bitcoin you know breaks out of its uh, resistance points and start to move upwards things will just generally move upwards so you know it's quite hard to find you know i'd be finding a lot more trades right now in a normal market situation but you know we're not in a normal market situation right now so you need to be very careful with your trades um got 500 dollars in tech thanks looking for the next slide all right, next live, I'm going to find a banger of a trade. And then we'll, I'll put it in live as well. We'll all make quite a bit of money. But um, last night last night was pretty good. I did make a good trade. If, only if I streamed last night and put the trade in. It was a good trade. I mean, what was it again? It was... Yeah, it was about like 85 points. Obviously, I had leverage. But about 85, 86%. So, you know, I, I, I want to demonstrate the greatness of the Oracle. But you need to give it time, okay? You know, it, it's like growing fruit, you know? If you pick off the tree, it's going to be bitter. I'm not going to be juice. It's going to be crap. It's going to be a crap trade. But if you let it, if you give it the right, you wait till the right moment, it'll fall off into your lap, and you'll get a really juicy fruit. But anyway, I'm, I'm yapping on that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking nonsense. I'm going to leave the stream. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, I'll see you. On, no, I'll see you Saturday, but not for a training stream for the normal stream. And then Monday we'll be back to a, a training stream. So yeah, thank you, and goodbye.
Thank you.